continuing our series looking at what exactly went on during some of the world's biggest catastrophes now on BBC One. Adrian Edmondson plays the ill-fated scientist who fronted the investigation into the Chernobyl explosion. With some disturbing scenes, surviving disaster. How's rising, Alex? How's rising? Well, let me put the turbine in. How's that? It's criminal, and it's got to stop, and you have got to stop it. So we need to discuss the evacuation. There will be no evacuation. Nobody told them. Nobody. We can no longer pretend. Some found him, identified him as Valery Alexeyevich Legasov, some big shot scientist. Been dead about four hours. My name is Valery Legasov, and two years ago, I'd never believed that my life would end like this. I used to think of this country as um, a new civilization. I think we all did. It was like a dream we shared. But two years ago, we were woken from that dream by an accident, an unprecedented accident. I headed the investigation into what caused the explosion, compiled endless notes and testimonies, and later I had the chance to present this evidence to the world. I didn't lie but I didn't tell the whole truth. Now I want to go back to that night when what should have been a straightforward test on the reactor led to an imaginable tragedy. I need to relive the desperate days that followed. I need to reveal why the world really came to know the name Chernobyl. So just like that we should wait. So I'm not prepared to remove control rod. Well, the reactor is this unstable. Do it. Sir, I don't think that it... Do it now, I am ordering you. Yes, sir. Protocol states that when the power is dropped like this, we shouldn't try... I'm not about to delay this test again because of a couple of insubordinate teenagers. You will do it now or I will have you fired and replaced. Yes, sir, you don't think... I will remove you from this station unless you increase power at once. Now remove the rods. Reduce reactivity reserve, yes, that's right. Menopause. Rods controlling the reactor are removed in preparation for the test. Of course, at this time in the Soviet Union, any information about the risks of nuclear power was classified. As far as these men know, Soviet reactors are flawless. Nothing ever goes wrong. Nothing can go wrong. Of course, some of us know different. Some of us know that there have been accidents and for some years, we've harboured silent fears of something big. But in all that time, we've never really dared consider what we really meant by big. And we were about to find out. 
The only reason I'm so bad at it is it's such a stupid pastime. Just sitting there all day on a bank, you know, it's not so I could be doing. It's a highly delicate jewel between man and fish. Turn it off. Separate the steam pressure from it. Turn it on. Switch off that whole safety relay or it'll shut us down halfway through the test. Luba's met Sasha's new teacher. Mm. Yeah, he says he's taught ten year olds at his previous school. Shut up. Is it too much to ask to get this done, all of you? Bunch of literary crap. Let me know when the output's up. Output 700 and critical, sir. Happy, Mr. Akimov? Very happy, sir. I just thought that it might ah, not be. At last. Thing. Well, get this out of the way. Shut down turbine eight. Pull down number eight, please. The power's rising, Alex. The power's rising. Well, I need to put the turbine in. How's that? It was stable just now. Come on, we've, Why are you we've had this. Let's stop it. Come on, Alex. Let's get the bombs back in. Shut down the reactor. I'm putting the controls back in. He said, sir, I'm shutting down the reactor. Well, there goes the test. How am I supposed to explain that? I'm sorry, sir. It wasn't worth it. The power was climbing. I didn't know exactly how it was coming. What was that? What happened? Somebody tell me what happened. The control rods haven't gone in. What's the bus, sir? The rods haven't gone well, in. Let them drop in. I am doing it. I just don't know why they didn't go in in the first place. I pressed the AZ button. They should have gone in. Maybe. Shit! Right, this is an emergency. Cool down the reactor immediately. Increase the water supply. Cool it down. Okay, cool it down. Come on, get some extinct valves on 27. If it's not open, get them open now. It says there's no water at all in the reactor. Well, the turbine was on fire. What? No, no, no. What are you doing? This is my control. All right, Piotr, Piotr. Go and check that the piping pumps are shifting water. Let me throw the fire brigade. I don't believe this. Right, Alex. It's coordination. Get down to the reactor and lower the rods by hand. All of them. Call on that. You've got to shut it down. I am in charge here. I am in charge. What did you do, Akimov? What did you do? Nothing, sir. I don't understand it. I... Look, I, I pressed the AZ button, but it didn't shut it down. The power surged. The power surged! That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Maybe it's sabotage. Maybe we're at war. There could be nothing. Low levels from the water. Yeah, this way. We better stay away from the turbine hole. Yes. Kolya, it's Yuri. I've just called Brakhanov. Oh, no. I had to. It, I, yeah. Why? For heaven's sake, why? The entire roof, roof's been blown look, off. The look, fire brigade is here. Just please turbine... don't call anyone you don't need to. Okay. Brakhanov knows. Look. look no, look. We'll, we'll be all right. He, he'll see that when he gets it. Just, just, just more water. Keep the reactor cool. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Who did you send to the reactor? A nuclear reactor like the one at Chernobyl contains about 20 times the nuclear material of an atomic bomb and many thousands of tons of highly radioactive graphite. If it's damaged severely enough, all this radiation will escape. It'll travel through almost anything. Drift with the wind. Odorless. Indiscriminate. And it takes life in silence. It can't be. It can't be. Where's the reactor, Ali? It's there. Fine, you have got to be wrong. You've got to be wrong. Well,